What's going on everybody and welcome to the Occult Gaming Channel with me your host Bill Alright. And today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to do a live stream today and we're going to play one of my favorite games of all time, Streets of Rage. Um, we're going to be playing it on the Xbox 360 um, because it's the system I'm currently using. And as you can see I have a ton of games on the 360 so I am very much so um, dedicated to playing all of these games. Um, but right now we're playing this uh, because Streets of Rage 4 is about to come out and I want to get some uh, some practice in before it comes out. So let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. I'm going to have to turn my uh, headset down. Turn the volume down. It's a bit loud. Alright, sorry, that nearly killed me. Alright, so we're going to be playing the version of Streets of Rage uh, 1 on the Sega Vintage Collection. And we're actually going to be playing through all these eventually. I'm going to play through the first one, second one, and third one. This is, of course, an emulated version of the very first game. Well, emulated version of all of them. You got this cool uh, selection screen. Absolutely, honestly, badass selection screen. I really like it. They got the 16 bit uh, Genesis there. If you've never played uh, Streets of Rage on the Xbox 360, this is a pretty good version of it, I would say. Um, maybe the second best version after the, uh, the remake. And we will eventually play the remake as well. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, dive into the first Streets of Rage, which only if my first time playing this one was actually um, last year. Yeah, I started the series with the third one. I used to play it all the time with my brother. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. I love the music. On the streets of rage. I'm gonna spare you guys uh, narration. And that's what we're gonna be using Adam Hunter. Surprisingly, he only makes a um, playable appearance in the first game. And got their bio. This is a really cool opening. really dig it and that's that's a really cool trio man that's a really cool trio of characters okay so initially um, what we're gonna do is we're going to oh this one you can't adjust lives okay we're gonna play it on normal <laughs> and then once we this game is actually pretty damn hard um, I only managed to beat it once previously um, you do get some combo attacks, like if you uh, kind of center on a character for a bit. You get to see how, like, how fast they move, what attacks they have. In this game, I don't really like Blaze too much. He has this um, annoying, uh, that backflip thing is kind of annoying. Like it leaves her vulnerable. Whereas these two don't have that problem. But honestly, there's a lot I don't know about this game, so I'm not going to talk too much shit about Blaze. Alright, and whoa, see, I'm already messing up. I already used my um, super attack. I'm gonna reset, but I actually wanna check my buttons first. Okay, I kinda wanna change that around. 
I don't like X being the uh, button for the super. Okay, can I change my buttons? Um, special attack. We want that to be Y. So, special attack. Uh, this would be. No. I can't change that? Hmm. I don't really get how this is supposed to be done. Anyway, we're going to turn off X. And I think we're going to use one of the bumpers for the uh, special attack. There we go. Yeah, that works for me. Or, okay, I see how that works. Okay, I get it. Gotcha. I get it, okay. So X is attack, Y is special attack. B is jump, I feel like A should be jump. A is attack, B is jump. X is attack. Um, A, no, A is jump, A should be jump. Turn that off. Turn that to that. Um, B is going to be attack. B and X are attack. Or maybe B should be rear attack. Does C do anything? Okay. B will be rear attack. So attack, jump, special attack, rear attack. Okay, that works for me. Okay, let's go. We're going to start over. Reset. Now those special attacks, they really come in handy. Can't be wasting those. Let's go. Get pieced up already. This game is a lot harder uh, than the other two because you have less movement options. And enemies are a bit more... Enemies are assholes in this game. I mean, they're assholes in the sequels too, but they're really assholes in this game. They will exploit whatever they can exploit. I like to pick... Uh, Adam because he has this drop kick. It's really good. Has a linger hitbox on it. In a nice little range. Yeah, sometimes picking up weapons is like not the best. Like that. Yeah, Streets of Rage 4 is coming out, and what's funny is that this stuff is coming out right around the time where I decided to like write a book based on beat em ups. So it was like serendipity for me right now. Because I decided to play a bunch of beat em ups um, to uh, get inspiration for this book. Of course, Streets of Rage is going to be like the top choice for me. And so for the first time, I decided to play. The first Streets of Rage. And this game is like really good. I never really tried to play it before because it just looks so archaic to me. I mean, I tried it before, but I never really played through long swaths of it because it always just looks so archaic compared to the other two. But the fundamentals are all here. Like, everything that is Streets of Rage is here. All, like, all the basic fundamentals. You don't have like the razzmatazzle stuff. You don't have like the really epic stuff. Like you can't run. Movement is fairly limited. Oh man, they are killing.
killing me. Let's see if I can get some food. I won't get it. Try to back kick her. Damn, I try to jump. Jump kick. There we go. There we go, that helps out. Okay. This boss fight is coming up. Gotta be careful with this guy. His kick is pretty dangerous. Okay. Watch out for his kick. How did I end up turned that way? Gonna use that. That's gonna take him out actually. I'd rather use that than lose a life. But I could already tell this is gonna be a hard playthrough for me. Oh shit, I didn't even kill him. I feel so sluggish. Come on. Got him. One more kick. Got him. Not the best, but not too bad. I at least didn't lose any lives there. Yeah, this game, uh, it's not as pretty as the other Streets of Rangers, but like I said, it definitely, uh, lays the fundamentals for the rest of the series. Like, you have the grapples and everything here. Grapples, combos, special attacks. I think for me, what sets Streets of Rage apart from other beat-em-up series is just how f well it feels to control it. Um, coming in from 3, it was always like the ease of movement. You can move the characters horizontally and vertically quite easy compared to a lot of other games of that era. And then you also have the uh, special attack system. But for me, it was always the grapples that like set Streets of Rage because the grapples in Streets of Rage games feel so crunchy. Like that, you see, it's like the screen shake and it just feels so good. Even in this one. Even the very first one, they had those fundamentals down. No, stop picking up and putting down weapons. Oh, you can't actually. Should have waited. Should have definitely waited. Haha, <laughs> that was pretty smooth. Shit. Shit. That guy. Shit. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> Got an achievement for, uh, I guess, dodging a grab. So I don't have all day. Don't get paid by the hour here. I should have got that pipe. I should have got the pipe down. There's gonna be some martial arts guys over here. All right, I'm not doing as bad as I thought I would. Really can't go toe to toe with them as far as punches. They are quick. Oh, I hate these guys. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, Adam's really good for taking those guys out too. These damn clowns. So you really can't. 
go punch for punch with these guys. Not with Adam, at least. Jump kick is your best bet with Adam. Like, it's just so effective. It's always better just do the jump kick. Jump kick spam. It's like playing old school Mortal Kombat. Okay, here we go. speed up like that. Out of here. See, that hitbox here is just lingers. That's why the jump kick is so good. Okay, for this guy, I figured out his strategy. Figured out his strategy. Without a guy, I just kept getting my ass kicked. You just gotta stay near the top. You can't try to jump. No, you can't do jump attacks on him. Yeah, just stay near the top. I don't mind using one against him just to avoid losing life. Should have killed him. I guess this is my first time getting this far on this game. I must have played it on the uh, Sega Ultimate Collection. I do love the levels. Oh, quit trying to pick up shit and somebody's punching you in the face. Okay, this isn't going well at all. Tired of you guys. Already need healing. Damn. Oh, you can't even pick that up. That's wasting my time. Nope. Not letting you guys do it. Not letting you do it. Sweet. Yeah, I'm just spamming that jump kick. It's really good. And he can turn while he's doing it too. The one thing I wish Streets of Rage never had was a stupid Thank you. The stupid enemies get to uh Hide off the screen gimmick. I really don't like that. That's one thing I hope they improve in the fourth one, but then again, it's the Streets of Rage staple at this point. You don't want to go too far. You do want to maintain some level of uh, screen control. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> that actually hurts. You don't want to get kicked by that guy. China. Look how crafty they are. They really do like look for your weak spot. So this game is like way ahead of its time. Stop picking up knife to avoid dying. I believe when you die you get a free special, so you might as well just use it. Like when you're about to die, you might as well just use a special up. Two kicks on easy mode or normal mode. This guy. This guy's a jerk. This guy's a jerk. You just gotta keep drop kicking this guy. Cause he's a jerk. Gotta keep drop kicking him because he's a jerk. See? <laughs> I could have got him, but the other guy was messing up my timing. I could have actually got him without losing life. The other guy was a straight up jerk. Sweet. So I am going to use some emulation shit. Oh, I did. Damn, I played this game way back in 2012. It's the last time I played. Eight years later, goodness. I didn't even know I had this game for that long. What am I picking up? What did he just try to pick up? See, that's why I just drop drop kick all day. So everything else seems to get priority over his punches. Careful here. Come on. So I'm saying these guys are jerks. And it's best to always like wait before uh, you summon more enemies. Shit. Come on. Might as well use it because they're about to kill me. How? Jackass. One more. No. Got him.
Come on, come on, come on, jackass. Come on, jackass. Thank you. I can get some more healing. That would be nice and lovely. <laughs> He has a drop kit. Yeah, gotta be careful. Out of here. Shit. That guy is really dangerous. Out of here. Take that. Damn it. Out of here. Not horribly. We are about to die though. So I can get some healing. Okay. Yes! Just in time. Jesus. Fuckers everywhere. That drop kick, man. And it keeps you from trying to pick up fucking weapons all the time. Out of here. It's another problem this game has. The character always trying to pick up weapons. What the hell? I was stuck in grab animation, apparently. That's it. Boss time. I forget what this boss is. Is it the fire guy? Yes it is. Shit. Just gotta get below him. Shit. Oh, Fucking... Like, he wouldn't be so bad. Shit. You know what? He wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the henchmen. Shit. Come on. <laughs> I'm telling you, I almost had him. Get out of here, jackass. Oh, jackass. Dude. This jackass. This jackass. Oh man. Still gotta take him. Okay. The, the stupid henchman jackass. The stupid henchman jackass. Out of here, guys. I shouldn't be moving so far ahead like that. Saw two guys, right? Yeah, these guys are just a walking hitbox. Out of here. I really don't need these at the current moment. I'm gonna hover around them though. I'll take it. The drop kick is very powerful. Quit picking up stuff when you're getting punched in the face. The 
drop kick, man, it gets you out of so much so much trouble. There we go. Lies. Nope. See that drop kick, man, it lingers so long, it's so good. Come on, his grab is so too good. Grab is too good, young sir. Alright. Let's do this thing. Nobody. I'll take you on one at a time. He's trying to lure me over there. It's you, Mr. Gung Ho. You're both on the same side now. This is why you don't want to get too far ahead. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, he's not so hard by himself. Because you know what to expect. Your timing just has to be good for him. You need not lose a single life. Take the pipe. Nice. I respect you guys. <laughs> Did I kick that back at him? That was actually pretty cool. Up. He take him out. Sweet. That actually went really well. I'm gonna use up those two uh, specials. I didn't want to use them right there. It is what it is, though. Quit. Duh. Fire guy. Ah oh, man, I hate these guys. I really do. One more. Please be one more. Okay. Damn, he takes a lot of kicks. Okay. Which boss is this? Fat, fat guy? Oh no, these chicks. No, I hate them so much. I hate them so much. 
they are definitely the hardest to fight in this game. Yeah, they're... The strategy I came up with before was like to turn my back on them and then hit them with a jump kick. Yeah, these, they are too much. Got her. Damn. <laughs> Try not to do the jump thing because she always catches me in it. Shit. Shit. Okay, that's a strat. Turn back to them. Turn your back to them. I actually kind of love this stage. Um, I'm going to save it here right quick. Yeah, number two was a better save, so we'll probably go back to that one, but I think I'm going to want to replay this level regardless to practice on it. Shit, shit. Did I miss that goal too because the camera was panned out thanks to the damn special attack? How about that? Remember kids, get the gold before you use your special attacks. Come on, your damn one frame light punches. His one frame grabs. Your one frame whips. Uh, well, that was at least a couple frames. I don't like you. Thank you. This thing's pretty cool, this presser here. You can use it, right? There you go. Unfortunately, they don't activate it themselves, but uh, you can use it against them. To a fun degree. <laughs> Come on, dude. Damn car throws. Really do hate these guys. Pff, I knew it. Damn car throws, man. They move. They move so well around you. Like they just dance around you. There, there's got to be a way to tech out of that. Yeah. Taste your own medicine. Luckily for them, they don't do a lot of damage. Those sisters do though. Shit. Come on, I was out of the way. You got to get above them. Gotta get below him and then. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Yeah, I lost a lot of lives there. Unnecessarily.
I don't want to get too far away from my meat here. I'm going to have to, though. Come on, fucking hitbox. Get out of here. That was fast. Really? Fucking light framed? I really hate these guys and their jabs. Quit picking up weapons. I didn't even see the knife down there. So I'm just better off spamming a jump kick. Just better off spamming. Come on, come out. Got time for your off screen shenanigans. Ugh. Come on. She could hit me, but I couldn't hit her. Please, I wasted my time. Thank you. Sweet. Gotta make sure to survive. There we go. Come on, kill this clown. Thank you. Ugh. Fuck. Thing is horribly placed. Damn. It's a waste, but I have to use it. Use it or lose it. Yeah, he's gonna do some cheap shit to kill me, so might as well just get it over with. Come on. You put me in between two of these fucking things. Lingering jump kick. The best move in the entirety of Streets of Rage, most likely. The sickest move is that backwards German. That uh, vaulting German suplex. It only gets better as the series goes on. Alright, bosses. I think these are the two Wolverine guys. Yeah. So you want to stay close to the top of the screen. Uh, 
I don't really know what the advantage here is. Like, what do you do this? Sometimes their range is just really good compared to yours. You just gotta beat them. Which isn't always easy. But yeah, if you stay above them, you can get advantage on them. If you're below them, you're always going to be at a disadvantage. Never jump kick them because that always happens. I think I might have hit them one time with a jump kick. But don't quote me on that, I guess. Ah, fuck you guys. Ah, whatever. Take them out. I don't really know what the trick is to get in their range before they can hit you. I don't really know what that trick is. They, for the most part, have range advantage over you. But sometimes you can sneak some punches in. Or maybe there's an optimal range to get in there. So that's something I'm going to practice. Alright, so we're getting close to the end now. Game is very short. Jesus. <laughs> Immediately from both sides. Getting wrecked. Which is just as well, because you can only use your super attacks on this level. After this, there's no supers. Shit. Out of here. Come on out. These guys have way too much mobility. That's one of the things I don't like about this game. They have easily two and three times more mobility than your character. They just come down, super speed. Stay in the air. Stay in the air. Out of here. Damn, that was so accurate. Get out of here. Taste your own medicine. Who's jumping down and hit me automatically? Somebody's gonna do it. Just jump down with an instant frame attack. That guy. Why don't you all get to one side of him? Yes. Shit. Out of here. Alias. 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 Drum ki drop kicking everybody. Oh, well that's uh, the first first wave of enemies. Oh, this thing is lame. This thing is very slow. The left. Hand. Okay. Um, we'll go with the classic. 
come on. Come on. The classic immature kid move. Might as well use all of these. Make this more flashy. Who's next? Out of here. Who else? Who wants want some of this? I think I'm almost at the top. Yeah, look at that city in the background. Some good ass pixel art. Well, it's, a, it's about this time when I'm wishing I saved. Uh, kill this guy. Kill the yellow asshole. Jeez. I hate that guy. Yeah, 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 hitbox, man. I can't even see. Get out of here. Please. Come on, I barely landed. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, we're done with that part. I am going to make a save here. Just so I can practice this last stage. Okay, there is no, there will be no super moves on this part. No special attacks on this part. No get out of jail free cards on this part. So basically, you gotta do this perfect and you can already see that I'm not ready for that shit. So this one's gonna be a boss rush, a la Mega Man style, with no super attacks. So at this point, you gotta really know your enemy's patterns. Get away from this pipe. It's gonna fuck you up. Out of here. I'm tired of these guys, really am. Tired of these guys too. There's a boss coming up, yeah. Get out of here. Throw your boomerang, asshole. Oh, that stupid kick is so good. Ah. Out of here. Got him. He can interrupt your combos with that dumbass kick. Shit. 
Ugh. Assholes. Okay. Assholes are gone. Hurry up. Get to the air. Oh! To the air. It's like as soon as you hit the ground, these fuckers are waiting on you. They're kind of enemies that you... I don't think you can jump around them. Shit. He got me. You really can't approach these guys from the bottom. You gotta approach them from the top. Got him. Shit. Oh, come on. It's too much range. Like, I'm trying to get get it to where I'm above him and where I can go down after him. Like this. This is where you want to be against this guy. You definitely want to be here against this guy. Yeah, you definitely want to knock him down when you go up against him. Definitely want to knock him down. Wasn't too bad, honestly. Really? Oh, I missed. Okay, I'm gonna stay on the ground this time. Yeah, stay on the ground against these guys is the best way to go. I see that now. Against everybody else, the jump kick is where you want to be at. But against these guys, want to stay against on the ground. All right, I see. I see. I figured it out. Figured it out live. Coward. Damn. Too much mobility. Shit. Wasn't ready. Alright, get ready. He gets up fast. guys go they get a lot of range on their attacks two up back here shit Ugh, both sides Sweet chin music. Get out of the corner. I wish they all were cowards, like all of the damn. Get out the fucking corner, asshole. Come on. I think that's the one of the weaknesses of the series is like, oh shit. Down here. Uh, wasn't fast enough. Shit. I wasn't trying to. It's like he automatically grabs him from behind. Come on, stop doing that. There we go. There we 
There we go. I want to lock him into that combo. Shit. That thing went slow as hell. Ah, I couldn't get up there fast enough. This game needs more mobility. That's why they gave you the run and uh, I think the number two had a run? I can't remember. Number two might not have had the run. Fuck, man. There's all these assholes everywhere. Assholes everywhere. Could do nothing against that. I'm not even gonna worry about the uh, putting the name in. It just takes too long. Ah. Please. 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 Don't want to suck it. No, you die. Get out of here. I got a very annoying collection of enemies. I'll tell you that much. Really? That didn't take all the stupid torches out? Out of here. Okay. This I will pause to save because this I really need to practice these two specifically. Specifically, I need to pause to learn how to fight these two. See? <laughs> and when it's, they're both on two sides of you, it's like, what do you do? Damn. There's not much you could do to avoid that either. You can't do anything to avoid it. That attack is just the touch of death. Oh, and she suplexed me anyway. If it was just one of them, that'd be fine. But it's two of these bitches. See, they have so much invincibility. These two really are unfair. Okay, so I'm going to immediately load that back. Because that's bullshit. Okay. It's two of you. One of you going to do the jump kick. One of you going to walk up on me. Okay, so I can't move away from the jump kick. Ugh. It is so shitty when you got. Oh, that kick is too good. It's too accurate. Got one of them. Okay. I'm tearing that one up, though. Really did have that one on the ropes. Ah, the tip of it. Damn. See, that one always runs up on you. This one always drop kicks. Ugh. She's the tough one. Okay, okay. But if she misses it, okay, I get it. If she misses it, she's like wide open. Okay. Yeah, I figured you out.
<laughs> Nothing like cracking a cold. Nothing like cracking the cold. Okay. Not horrible. Well, you found your way here. Would you consider becoming my right hand man? Uh, oh. You really want to die, don't you? I'll be happy to oblige. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm so, I'm just so happy I beat them and, and kind of figured figured out their pattern. They're actually the hardest bosses in the game to me. So it feels really good to actually complete that. Light punch. Shit, this is something. He he's tough in his own right. He could be drop kicked though. As a matter of fact, you should jump kick him. Uh, got him. What the hell? See, these guys are just in my way. Like if it was just me and Mr. X. <laughs> I tossed them right into him. Jackasses. Oh, it's it's just it's always the jackasses. Haha. -ha. Gotcha. Gotcha. Gotcha again. Check in, Jackass. Come on. Gotcha. Here comes. Oh, I just stood in his face like an idiot. One more. <laughs> he just punched me in the face. That was epic. That was too epic. Like all his gold. What is the bullets? That's dope. Round eight clear. This time I'm actually gonna put my name in. That was actually pretty darn fun. Like the sexy Sega music. The Yuzo Koshiro music. It was Koshiro and um I forget the second guy. I'm sorry, I need to um read up on that. But it was like uh they co produced the music. Designed by there is no accounting for taste ten on. Oh this one I used to use uh pseudonyms. I wonder what happened to the police guy in the future games. Yozio, Koshiro, and TN. There was a second guy who helped them with the music though. He did more than help. He they kinda co did the soundtrack. They produced it together, I think. Such a small design team. Sega nineteen ninety one, that's beautiful. Ah, that is 
wonderful. The end. That is just wonderful. <laughs> Man, being a modern day fan of stuff, uh, you're always expecting like a Avenger style ending. Um, hold on one second, guys. Got to take a call. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, that was a pretty damn good run. Um, but you know, Axel, or sorry, Adam to me is actually the best character in this game. Um, I think the second best would be Axel, honestly. Um, to me, Blaze is the worst, which is which is weird coming from Streets of Rage 3. She was so good in that game, but in here she's just so weird because <clears throat> she got that backflip thing she does. I kind of want to do another another run, but we've actually been going for a pretty long time. I think we've been going for an hour and 20. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Um, this is just a quick little stream. Wanted to just play some play some Streets of Rage 1. And luckily, we were able to beat it today. I actually didn't think we were going to beat it today. So I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I want you guys to take care. Till next time, guys. Peace.